We're keeping an eye on our neighborhoods and the city's effort to clean them up. Yesterday, it was alley cleanup. New at 6, 13 ABC's Bill Horman looks at mowing vacant lots and the trouble that sometimes causes. Bill. Diane, one problem causes another. People dump trash on vacant lots and when city crews go out to those lots, that trash causes lots of trouble. Because of our mild winter, city crews are out early this year cutting the grass. 10 crews cutting a total of 100 lots every day. Many trashed like this. They dump, they don't care. Michelle and her partner have to stop what they're doing and pick up the trash. It can cost them as much as an hour's worth of time. It can cost taxpayers money and equipment repairs. Last year we had so many blades, lawnmowers that got so messed up, had to go into the shop, come back out, refinish it. Now I see another piece is missing on the one side too. Those broken machines come into Ron's garage for repair. They weld, it's welded and it's bolded. A flat tire came in today. Could be expensive to buy a new tire because this patch doesn't appear to be working. Still leaking. But it's mostly blades that come yeah, back. Right, right there is good. Last year we went through 50 or 60 blades. That gets and expensive, and that's a lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of, a lot of belts. We saw one crew stop work because of a metal pipe sticking out of the ground. That could have caused serious damage or even injury. But the city is not surrendering. Usually our, our cycle is once a month. Lots could get cut every 30 days this year. That's a lot of work when there are 2,000 lots growing like weeds. You know, as we start continuing down this road of demolishing some of the worst housing stock, we continue to add more to that inventory. Which means more grass cutting on more lots, but hopefully with less debris. Now, trashing a lot can cost a lot, thousands of dollars in repairs, and those are tax dollars. That's your money, simply because people illegally toss trash in our city. Lee, Diane? Unfortunately. All right, Bill Horman, thanks very much. Well, how fast?